As some of you may already be aware, Minecraft is finally coming to the XBLA this Wednesday. What some of you may not be aware of is that Minecraft won't be the first block building sandbox adventure game to be released on the platform. In fact, since Minecraft's initial release a few years back, the indie game section of the marketplace has played host to a plethora of blatant Minecraft ripoffs. Over the past few days, I've explored this weird and wonderful world of Minecraft clones, and have compiled a list of the top 5 Xbox Live Indie Games Minecraft ripoffs. 5. Out of all the games on this list, Castle Miner Z is the one I had the most fun with. Why? Because 5 minutes after I pressed start, this happened. Yes, that's right, Castle Miner Z has duns in it, and yeah, it seems really odd, but surprisingly, this works really well. I mean, it's just balls to the wall ridiculous fun. You run around shooting zombies and dragons, and it's just great. It even has crafting elements, which is more than to be said about some games on this list. You can mine materials straight out of the ground, just like Minecraft, and then these materials can be used to craft things like machine guns and shotguns. In fact, this whole concept works so well, it baffles me as to why it's set in a Minecraft-esque setting. I mean, the guns and the enemies are so realistic, why can't the setting be as well? Who wouldn't want to play this game if it was set in a randomly generated town? Hell, I'd buy it. But no, for some reason Castle Miner Z prides itself on being set in a Minecraft style world, and therefore it rests at number 5 on this list. 4. Fortress Craft is by far the most popular Minecraft clone on the Xbox Live Marketplace, mainly because it was the first one to appear back in 2011. However, unlike some of the games I'll be showing you later on, Fortress Craft doesn't have as much in common with Minecraft as you might think. Yeah, it looks pretty much the same, but the HD textures do give the game a slightly unique feel. Also, there's no crafting element present whatsoever, so God knows why it's called Fortress Craft. Apart from, you know, the, the obvious reason. It also contains awkward avatar animations, really weird duns, and... I don't, dithers? I, I don't... what? There's also a ton of horrible blocks to play around with, including this trampoline block. I think that says a lot about Fortress Craft when you find out that the Mojan business chief says he won't be taking legal action against the game because they're bored of video game clones. Yeah, that all I feel quite well actually. 3. Tassel Miner shares a lot in common with Fortress Craft. It looks pretty much the same with its HD cubes and fancy water effects, but unlike Fortress Craft, Tassel Miner doesn't clot up the game with pointless additions like trampolines and. I still don't know what this thing is. To be perfectly honest, I actually quite like Tassel Miner. Not only is it quite pretty, it's also quite fun in a creative sort of way. It's just a HD version of Minecraft's creative mode. You can fly, choose from a number of blocks, and basically just build whatever you want to build. It's inoffensive and pretty fun. Unless you have the actual Minecraft of DOS. 2. Miner Forever is pretty much just Minecraft in every way. I mean, just look at it. It looks closer to the original than things like Tassel Miner. The only real difference is the overly confusing way blots are placed. Like most games on this list, mining a blot doesn't add it to your inventory. Instead, you have to have a certain number of resources before you can place a blot. You can get more resources by either finding them scattered around the game world, or by constructing an extractor. An extractor automatically generates resources for you. Does it work? Not really, but hey, it's a more blatant ripoff than Fortress Craft, so that's why it's number 2. 1. So here we are at number 1, and I'm proud to announce that my number 1 Xbox Live Indie Day Minecraft ripoff is... Total Miner. Now, I, I think it's fair to say that every other game on this list has at least one element that makes it unique. You know, Tassel Miner Z has duns, Fortress Craft has trampolines, Total Miner on the other hand is just Minecraft. It looks like Minecraft. It plays like Minecraft. It's just Minecraft. You know, you, you hit a tree, you get wood, you turn that wood into wooden plants. You put four of them wooden plants together, you get a workbench. How, how is this allowed to still be... I, um, to be fair, even though Total Miner is a blatant ripoff of Minecraft, it still plays just as well as Minecraft. You can craft, you can build, you can explore, there's online multiplayer which supports up to 24 people. It's just Minecraft, and considering Xbox players are only just now getting their hands on the original game, this hasn't been a bad substitute for them. So there we have it, my top 5 Xbox Live Indie Day Minecraft ripoffs. As always, I've been Liam Richardson from Damination.co.uk, and I'll see you later on.